Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hello, everyone. Checking in on SPY, BABA, PCLN, Facebook, and Google. A lot of action today for the Bulls, the SPY Bulls, with a complete 180 turnaround, making Friday's action look a lot like just some house cleaning at the end of the year. And a uh, weak close, but again, a complete turnaround today. Close at the highs, all-time highs. And we formed a bit of a, a double low down at the low of this consolidation. 266.69, 266.64. And now continuation for the Bulls. Psychological resistance levels, 269 and 270. As long as the Bulls maintain these higher lows, they are certainly in control. And just look at these exponential moving averages on the daily. They've been support now for over six weeks. Just a very clear, strong bull trend and the weekly chart shows that as well on SPY. For BABA on the daily chart, this was a very, very, very clear bull break. If you've been watching this channel, you hear me talk about equilibrium patterns all the time. Look at this equilibrium pattern that lasted the entire month of December. We had the low of the dump, the high of the bounce, higher low, lower high, higher low was the low of yesterday. The clear bull break it was right when we broke 176.66. As soon as we broke that level, that's the highest price that we've seen in two to three weeks, and we break the lower high pattern. Certainly can't anticipate that the bulls are going to have a monster day, but you can anticipate that that is a bullish signal that a lot of traders are recognizing very clearly from this tight pattern. And you know whether it's going to be a five percent or a half a percent move or a four percent move, we don't know. But clearly the volume was backing this move up, and the bulls exploded through the next level of resistance as well at 180.68. So now where we stand, if we get over the high of today, 184.10, we're looking at a little gap at 186.50. Very significant recovery for these bulls. Look at the inside bars on the weekly time frame. Multiple weekly inside bars, clear bull break. As you know, when you see an equilibrium pattern on a, on a, a time frame, that means when you zoom out to a macro version, you're going to see inside bars. So inside bars on the weekly tell us that there's an equilibrium pattern going on on the daily, which broke bullish. The equilibrium pattern broke bullish as soon as the open occurred today. I should say the inside bars broke bullish as soon as the open occurred. PCLN on the daily time frame, we have a, actually I want to do Netflix, not PCLN. So I take that back. We are not looking at PCLN, but we're looking at Netflix with a breakout and follow through. So Netflix, we've been saying for a while in these videos that it was the weakest of the big five in the tech sector as it had so many more resistance levels to go through and we had other names hitting all time highs. This is Netflix playing catch up and there's rumors, you know, a potential buyout from Apple or whatever. So bulls responding well to that. The clear bull break occurred back on last Thursday. We had a break of the resistance of 192.64. That gave us a higher low and then a higher high as soon as we broke that resistance level. And the next resistance after that wasn't until 199.03. A lot of space to the upside. Bulls took full advantage of that with a gap up open and just ran with it all morning, taking out all kinds of resistances. In the past three days, we've taken out one, two, three resistance levels. And we're just looking now at 202.48 and 204.38 the all-time high. The bulls are very much in control. Healthy consolidation. It took a real long time, but we held the middle Bollinger Band for five weeks, and now the bulls are turning it on to get towards a new all-time high, and we're looking for a new all-time high sometime in January. Facebook, bullish action as well. You can see the tech sector. Clearly, the bulls were buying to start 2018. Resistance broke at 181.30. We're now looking up at 182.28 and then just the all-time high, 184.25. You can see there are not many resistance levels left in these names as they're seeing so much strength and taking out multiple resistance levels in single days. Bull MACD cross on the daily time frame, strong close on high bull volume. Weekly chart bouncing off the middle Bollinger Band and looking for more. So very strong tech sector, lots of names looking towards the all-time highs. Google as well. We watched eight days of consolidation on Google. I've been doing daily videos on Google for a while saying that we are looking for a bullish reversal candlestick on the daily and we're looking for a lower high pattern to break. Eight days in a row of lower highs. That broke at 10.58. That's the first signal that bulls are turning around momentum. We got the hourly 20 period moving average as support. And with one day of bullish action, we erased five bearish days. 
We held the middle Bollinger Band. We have a bull increase in volume. Our new higher low is established at 1052.70. And we're just looking up towards the all-time high for resistance. Very little resistance here. Weekly time frame continues to hold exponential support. It too is heading back up towards the highs. Very strong tech sector is the bottom line. Let's just top it off with what the tech sector is doing overall, XLK. And very similar consolidation to Google. Eight days of consolidation, bull showing up, close at the highs, looking for continuation. Very strong market. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.